Space has always attracted our attention and aroused interest, and with the development of technology and computer games, we get the opportunity to immerse ourselves in amazing worlds and test ourselves as a space explorer or a fearless pilot. In this video, I will tell you about the most anticipated projects that should be released or have already been released in 2023. I split this video into two parts to keep within the timing. Now I will show you the first half and the second in the next issue. This is Being Indie. Get ready for an exciting flight into space full of adventure and danger. Starfield is a sci-fi open-world RPG that invites you to explore the vast expanses of space. The project is being developed by the developers of such hits as The Elder Scrolls, Skyrim, and Fallout 4. This is a completely single-player adventure in the spirit of the old school, focused on the story component. There is no multiplayer in the game, however. Players are expected to have procedural generation of landscapes and random events, which makes the project as replayable as possible. The game world of Starfield is many times larger than the territories of Skyrim and Fallout 76 combined. Numerous both main and secondary quests, many factions, classes and much more await you. You can move around on foot, exploring the surface of the planets, and sit in a space shuttle to overcome the vast distances between the continents. For Starfield, the developers completely redesigned their creation engine, which allowed for better rendering, animations, and artificial intelligence capabilities. A real space opera awaits you, which allows you to go anywhere and become what you wish for yourself. The game does not lead you by the hand and allows you to explore any part of the galaxy in any order. Meet charismatic heroes, trade, build ships, and much more. Osiris. New Dawn is a large-scale project, a third-person adventure game in which the player will be able to explore the Gliese 581 solar system, unique planets, and simply travel through space. The main aspect of the gameplay is the exploration of new worlds, previously unexplored lifeforms, and much more. The action takes place in 2078. The user will be able to first play the game to control a space plane to explore the planet, land on a replica of the moon, walk on it, and collect all the data and characteristics. In each world you will meet your own flora and fauna, gravity, new animals or monsters trying to eat you. Each planet is not just a location, but a whole world for research. Visit the underground branches. Discover the remnants and tricks of humanity that has already visited the planets. Walk along abandoned stations and pick up useful items. As a transport, you can use a space plane to travel through space, or a huge ground vehicle that can overcome obstacles. In new worlds, there may be monsters that cannot be killed with conventional weapons. Use a spaceship or explosives for such opponents. Sit at the controls of a robot resembling a human in appearance. Use laser guns and firearms to stay alive and capture as many moments as possible. Deliver Us Mars is a third-person sci-fi adventure game. Thanks to the Unreal Engine, it has modern and photorealistic graphics. The gameplay takes place to the music of the composer Sander Van Zantent. This game has a variety of locations. Here they let you wander around the Martian surface, the corridors and rooms of the colony, the wreckage of the aircraft. In this title, you have to explore levels, pick up, carry and use items, interact with interactive objects, jump over obstacles, solve puzzles and climb steep surfaces. In episodes with rock climbing, you have to control both hands of the main character. If desired, you can also collect audio recordings and holograms. They reveal a backstory. In addition, it is possible to scan the environment and look for collectibles hidden in special places to get achievements. In comparison with the first part, the sequel has become better looking. In it, the developers have improved the animation. They also worked on the quality of the storytelling. It is a sequel to the video game Deliver Us the Moon. Events unfold 10 years later. The game takes place in a dystopian future where humanity is in danger of extinction after the end of the Fortuna mission. To avoid extinction, people built colonial arcs, but they did not have time to use them because the outward group hijacked these starships to Mars. After that, Earthlings received a distress signal from there. The crew members of the Zephyr ship were instructed to fly there and return the transport. Katie Johansson, considered the youngest female astronaut, got into this team for her and have to play here. She needs to return the key to saving the human race, learn the secrets of these hijackers, and find out who and for what purpose reported the disaster to Earth. The story is told through cut scenes and dialogues with voice acting. There is a full dubbing in Russian. 
The events of Spaceborn 2 start from the end of the first part, only now the player needs to build his own space empire and develop it in all directions. However, with this global task, you cannot rush. The game world is completely open to exploration of each solar system, where the user can first become famous or vice versa, become an enemy, and then make it easier for himself to establish diplomatic relations. The main character is a space traveler who is free to do whatever he wants. True, for this he needs funds to maintain and improve the ship, which means that he will still have to carry out various missions and assignments. But he does not need to surf the expanses of the universe alone, because due to the size of the ship, he would not have coped without a crew. Each of its members has its own needs and tasks that can be assigned to them. After the protagonist accumulates enough strength and amount with the help of tasks, you can start creating your own state on the territory of abandoned planets. Diplomatic agreements will become the basis of the existence of the country, since with their help, you can exchange goods and expand your capabilities. But for this, you need to convince every Star-Lord and various councils. Kerbal Space Program 2 is the sequel to the critically acclaimed and fan-favorite simulation. The second part of the franchise is developed by the same campaign as the original. A huge number of mechanics have been transferred to the new project in a finalized form. There are also a couple of changes in many aspects of the gameplay. There is support for gamepads for those who feel more comfortable with a controller in their hands. The main characters are still Kerbals, strange-looking aliens with big green heads. The single-player campaign kicks off with the development of space rockets of our own design to escape the atmosphere. The gamer needs to come up with the structure of the future carrier from scratch, provide the necessary number of engines for a safe launch, create a detachable habitable module for delivering astronauts into orbit, because the second part focuses on the development of space stations and colonies. With the help of intergalactic engines, the player will be able to get to distant territories and make landings. Char, Ovin, Resk, and Rask. In remote systems, there are many types of resources, rare types of fuel and other useful things that will be useful to the gamer. An important improvement since the first part is the addition of a multiplayer mode for joint space exploration and teamwork during the construction and launch of rocket launchers. This brings a large amount of fun to the usual gameplay and allows you to have a good time in the company. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is a game that should be a logical continuation of Fallen Order. The storyline will take the participants to the moment when five years have passed since the story told earlier. The main character will once again be Cal Kestis. This is one of those Jedi who managed to save his life in really difficult conditions. So that he does not end up in the hands of the Empire, he needs to develop, get in touch with a certain force, make allies and start acting. All this will take place accompanied by a special assistant droid. It is with him that the main character will have to go through a large number of heroes with their own opinions, capabilities and roles. The game itself will offer users an active battle with a variety of opponents, endowed not only with unique abilities, but also with a large number of weapons. They need to be confronted on an equal footing in order to ultimately succeed. This is a full-fledged war, which was started in the first part of this masterpiece, which was highly appreciated in the gaming community. Like the previous installment, Survivor is a single-player game that offers you to go through a storyline that combines both significant and side quests. Only by going through them all will it be possible to win and save the whole universe worthy of survival. To all the mentioned advantages of the game, you definitely need to add nice, well-designed graphics and sound. With their help, it will be possible to experience the provided gameplay from a radically different angle, which will definitely interest every inhabitant of the local universe. There is not the slightest doubt about this. Boundary is a multiplayer FPS. A distinctive feature of the project is that the battles take place in space and on orbital stations. Fights are held in conditions of weightlessness or low gravity. This makes it possible to jump high, fly and rotate around its axis. The fights here are team fights, five people participate on each side. Initially the title was called Project Boundary, but then it was slightly renamed. It has several classes, medic, attack aircraft, sniper, support and stuff like that. In Boundary, users control heavily armed astronauts in spacesuits. They are called astro operators here. Their costumes allow for customization. You can improve and modify weapons. There is a rich assortment of grips, butts, types of ammunition, sights, barrels. You can also customize the look of your character. During skirmishes, the position of people in space and the angle of their attacks play an important role. The game is designed for multiplayer only. 
there is no single-player campaign. The cards are space debris, solar farms, stations of the future and stuff like that. In addition to cannons, players use various devices, such as a grappling hook. They can be attracted to objects or enemies. Among the modes there is team deathmatch, capturing points and other online fun. Fort Solace is a sci-fi thriller, action-adventure game. The game was developed by Fallen Leaf and Black Drakkar Games. The action of the game Fort Solace takes place in the future, when humanity already has a station on Mars. The protagonist of the game is engineer Jack Leary, who arrives at the titular Fort Solace in response to the usual alarm. Although the place looks deserted at first, things quickly start to spiral out of control. During his stay at Fort Solace, Leary discovers the truth about the place and the purpose for which it was created, as well as learning what happened to its staff. At Fort Solace, we are watching from a third-person perspective, TPP. In the game, we explore a huge location divided into nine small segments. We can travel on each of them, moving on the surface of the red planet or moving under it. As we explore Fort Solace, we discover successive pieces of history that are shaped by our actions and decisions. The game is not without adrenaline moments. The main outpost is not abandoned at all, so staying there quickly turns into a real struggle for survival for Jack. The graphics in Fort Solace are very good. However, what the described thing really boasts of is a truly stellar cast. In the game, we can hear Roger Clark, known for playing Arthur Morgan in Red Dead Redemption 2, or Troy Baker, previously playing Joel from The Last of Us series. System Shock is a remake of the legendary cyberpunk immersive sim that transports the player to the year 2072 and makes you feel like an unsurpassed hacker to thwart the plans of the evil artificial intelligence, Shodan. The plot of the game starts from the moment when a hacker trying to hack into the Citadel station is caught by the Trioptimum Corporation. Edward Diego, the head of the company, offers the hero a deal. Help in hacking the warring AI in exchange for freedom. The protagonist has no choice but to accept the terms of the contract. The gameplay is a first-person action game. The main action takes place on the space station. To control the character, a multifunction display is available, thanks to which the player performs the necessary actions. The game does not contain NPCs, so the main engines of the plot will be computer terminals. By hacking them, you can get into cyberspace, where the player travels through the wireframe of a 3D environment. Some doors in the real world only need to be opened by logging into the network. In our world, the hero uses 16 types of weapons, but at the same time, he can take only 7 types of ammunition with him to fight robots, mutants and cyborgs. Throwable weapons provide a choice of ammunition, among which there is a dart pistol that allows you to shoot explosive charges or use it as a tranquilizer. Leather plasters and first aid kits are used to heal wounds and provide first aid. Patches can act as temporary buffs, but at the same time give side effects, such as distortion of vision and colors. The effectiveness of an attack can always be controlled by the inscription Normal Damage displayed on the screen. Some enemies are immune to attacks or take damage from certain weapons. For example, EMP, electromagnetic grenades, easily knock out robots and enemy equipment, but it is useless to use gas grenades against them. System Shock developers Doug Church and Warren Spector created an inimitable classic of immersive sims, setting the vector for the entire genre, which spawned followers in the form of Deus Ex, Thief, and Bioshock. Thanks to Stepan for supporting this release. This is how rich and interesting Top turned out, write in the comments which game I forgot to include.